just to help us balance this out is going to be the debit. It's another period cost of cash. And that's going to equal, and if we scroll over, it's going to equal, da -da -da. scrolling down to the general, it's going to equal that 33 there. And then we're going to credit something. So I'm going to credit the 33 to the cash. And so we've got the general salaries is going to equal that 33. And the cash is going to go down. So I'm going to double click on cash, go to the end of it. That's the credit. And that puts us back in balance here. And then we'll scroll back down, scrolling back down and highlight that. So we've done this one. Actually, what, there's one more piece to that. There's the interest. So the interest in the cash. So I'm going to say interest expense on the long term debt, interest expense here, interest expense. And that's going to be the 15 thousand and we're going to credit cash once again so cash and that's going to be interest expense is going to go up in the debit cash we're going to double click on it go to the end of it and once again it's negative but it's going to be okay we're going to fix that and cash is going to be credited all right so now we can highlight that off for sure if we haven't done so so far and we're going to scroll down so that is in okay so now we're going to account for the cash that we received from the sales that we recorded on account so we had the cash but this is the total sales these are the cash sales and these are the sales on credit we recorded that what we didn't record is the collection of the revenues we made on sales during this time period so this this is the amount when we'll need to record so of the credit sales that we made up here we have collected some of those we sold them on credit but it's been three months so we've collected some of that in this time period so we're going to debit cash and credit accounts receivable for the amount that we've received on the credit sales that we've made in this quarter. And I'm going to say that equals and scroll down to the cash. So we're scrolling down to cash down here. Not the budget. We could get it from the budget actually, but it's going to be these items here. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to sum them up because I don't have a total column on this one. So I'm going to say it's the sum of the collections. So there we have that. And we could then credit the, the receivable. And now our cash should look a lot better. So we're going to go up to cash. We're going to double click on it and go to the end of it. Plus, and then we're going to have our cash here. And our accounts receivable, double click, go to the end of it. Plus, and we're going to say the receivables there. Okay, and then we had some miscellaneous items that happened. So that, that's going to take us through this stuff here so we basically did the cash here we did the receivables so we did that and then we have the cash budget and we had some other kind of miscellaneous side we had this loan interest here so we've got the if we want to record that out we'd have to say that we have interest expense again interest expense and that's for the 120 it was and we're crediting something and we're going to pay that with cash interest expense and cash so that's the 120 cash is going down with the credit and interest expense is going up with the debit okay and if we scroll back down so we say okay we took care of that miscellaneous type item down here so that's that one we already recorded this interest we're okay there uh, then we had this equipment. We put the equipment and we paid cash for equipment. We didn't have finance it or anything. So we're just going to say the equipment on the books. We got more of that. It's going to go up with a debit. And we're going to pay it all with cash. So cash is going to be the 130 on both sides. 130 and 130. So we can record that. It's, it's got to be even. It's got to be a journal entry. It has to work. So we're going to say, all right. Go to the end of that, cash is going to go down with a credit, and we put it into equipment here, plus the debit, like so. And so we've recorded the equipment, that should recognize, we should be okay with our um, cash there. And then we had the dividend here as well, this dividend. So dividend we paid out with cash, we're saying, so we're going to say, okay, the dividend happened. We're going to pay the owners the dividend. We're going to credit cash for that. So credit cash. And that's going to be 10000 
So there's the dividend, and we're going to record that. Cash is going to go down again by this 10000 The dividend now is going to be recorded at the uh, 10000 We did the equipment. Okay, and what else do we have down here? We had this pesky loan that we paid off here, and then we basically took another loan out. So I'm just I'm going to net those two out. And note, note that this should be netted out like this. It should be this minus this. So really what happened is we basically paid off net uh, 3840 to get us to that minimum balance. So I'm, instead of writing two journal entries, one paying the loan off and then taking another loan out like we could, I'm just going to say that we paid off over the three-month three, three month period 3840 of the loan. So we had a loan at the beginning, 12 and it's down to eight at eight one sixty as of the end. We paid off three eight four zero of it. So we're just gonna say I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna say well okay here's my loan amount. It needs to go down with a debit. So we're gonna debit that, and then we're gonna credit cash. So I'm gonna credit cash like that, and the amount's just gonna be equal to that number we were just looking at the eight thousand something right or the 3840 they're leaving us with 8000 something hopefully and so we're going to say all right let's do that and then if we record this then the cash is going to go down again so cash is going to go down and the short term note goes from 12 down to that 8000 something hopefully so the short term note see here it goes